Hey, welcome back to another video for the PHP 2 course. In this video, we're going to move on to step number five in milestone number two. So we're looking for creating database classes. And these classes are going to do all the uh, connections and reading from the tables in our MySQL database. So we've looked at number one, two, three, and four. And so here we go with number five. So here we are back in our Eclipse editor. And I'm zooming in on this folder here called database. So the, the three things that we should have in here at this moment, we should have a database connector. And so this has the password and username to connect to our servers. I think this is borrowed from a previous lesson. Now let's take a look at the user data service. And you can see that I have created all of these classes that talk to the database. And so the one that we're going to be using today is the last one that says find by first name with address. And so n dollar sign is the search string. So if you haven't uh, looked at the previous tutorials, you'll need this here. This says we're going to be selecting from two tables. So we're going to be looking at the users table as well as joining to the addresses table. And so the way these are designed is that they should have a common, uh, common field or a common key here, foreign key, on user's ID as well as the addresses table with user's ID. Let's take a look back here at the uh, database design. So the two tables that we're joining together are users and addresses. And so you can see there is a common link here. And so the link is that the uh, ID number in the users table is linked to the uh, ta uh, addresses table on the field called users underscore ID. So if we were to look inside at this uh, table here and to look at foreign keys, you would see that the users ID is a foreign key and I am doing updates on deletes of the cascade. So with that as a, as a link between the two tables, we are running a connection statement we're binding our pro properties, and then we're executing it. So once we're done here, we return the person's array, and it comes back to our service. So the next level up is our services, and we'll talk about business services in the next video. Our products database service has only really one function at this moment right now, which is find product by uh, name. And so I'm going to leave that up for you to uh, develop and implement for the uh, milestone. 